Hello and happy Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining this live stream. Today is an inking day. Hip hip hooray! Um, so I am working on a Lady Death cover and a huge shout out to Coffin Comics for giving me permission to live stream the process. And today I am working on the inks. So I finished up the pencils earlier today, literally just now. <laughs> and now I'm working on inking. So I have a variety of pens. So I use all these different ones and more really. Um, but I toggled between Copic multi liners and these are just two types of the same pen and then uh, Faber Castell pit pens. And so between these two different types of pens, I use a bunch of different sizes and I just vary it up depending on what line I happen to be doing. Mr. E, hello, welcome to the stream. Erin, thank you for joining. I'm doing great, how are you? Devin, hello, welcome. So um, the background is complete and Lady Death is drawn. I wasn't, because I'm planning to ink it, I didn't spend a ton of time working on my uh, line weight. I'll do that in the inks. So like there's a fair few spots down here where the line weight is not really figured out yet, but that doesn't matter because that's what I'm going to do now. Jared, Leslie, hello and welcome. It is very hot here today for us. <laughs> And so you're going to hear the hum, that's because we've got some fans going, otherwise it's a little too hard for me to draw. Juan, hello, Sean Ward, thank you, welcome. <clears throat> Angel, Keeman, hello and welcome to the stream, thank you so much for joining today. So to get my hand warmed up to inking. Um, I haven't uh, done any inking yet today, though I have been drawing all day, so I shouldn't have too much trouble warming up my hand, but I'm not going to start on something extremely important like her face. My temptation is to start right in on her face. Um, I've learned through trial and error that that's not the best idea, so I'll start with something that's less important, like her hair, for instance or you know her shoulder or something like that but I will for the most part work on inking Lady Death with you guys so that you can see that I I'm sure everyone cares much more about Lady Death than they do about the stained glass windows uh, I'm right there with you <laughs> uh, thank you Arnav that's very kind Devin as far as this one being claimed yet for the original um, I have a wait list of people that are uh, on the list for Lady Death stuff, so I will probably just go down the list and offer it to the next person in line. Um, but as far as this art specifically, no one has claimed it yet. I am having a wonderful day, Blues Boy. I hope you are too. I used Mr. E as my profile name on Rothic Shop so you know it's me. Yay! You are not too late at all, Stanley. I am late. I started the live stream kind of late. Now we're all about the windows. <laughs> How come I look so young? That's very kind of you, Arnav. You've just made my day. Okay, so um, I don't think actually I'm going to use the extra small from Pitt. Now, I really like the Pitt pens because uh, they give off more ink than the Copic pens do, from my experience. I'm not saying I'm right, but um, I've noticed that when I go to erase my pencil lines, the Pitt pens stick a little better than the Copic ones do, and I'm assuming it's because they just have saturated the paper with a little bit more ink. Um, the Copic marker ones, though, are, I mean, the Copic multi-liners uh, don't put down as much ink, but they are very safe for <clears throat> coloring with Copic marker, uh, watercolor, oil paint. I've painted with every medium except for airbrush over Copic multi-liners, and they will stay at least on the papers that I'm using, so they are awesome. <laughs> 
Thank you, what the fan art. That's so kind and good evening. True Deadman, hello. Yes, Philip White, I finished penciling this one today. So for penciling, I use um, 0 0.3 millimeter and 0 0.9 millimeter HB pens. Those are, these are my pens of choice. They're not very fancy, you can get them well, the 0 0.9 you can get on Amazon. The 0 0.3 you can't get on Amazon Canada anyway, but it's a $6 pencil. Anyway, I love these two pens for my, I mean, these two mechanical pencils for my penciling. Now I'm switching to the inks to finalize the piece. Dawn pen tutorials are the best. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. All right. So, um, let's see what pen I'm going to start with for inking her hair. So I want a very thin pen. Uh, the Pit Pens, the extra small, is the smallest I am aware of. It's the thinnest pen. So I'll show you the, the, uh, the difference between the two. Yeah, so the thinnest of the Pit Pens is not as thin as how then the Copic marker, Copic pens will go. So I do use the Copic pens quite a bit when I need to do thin lines. <laughs> yeah, Finn, I'm nervous about the coloring. So I should be working on the colors next week. Um, so I will, uh, of course, be coloring that with you guys because again, Copic Comics rules and they gave me live streaming permission, which is very cool of them. Um, so I will ink, I will color this up with you guys next week sometime. But you know, because there are, let me show you, there are candles. It's going to be a night scene, um, night cathedral situation, and then she's really uh, the the main attraction, as Lady Death should be. <laughs> Anai, hello, love. Welcome to the stream. Kevin, thank you for saying you like the videos. That means a ton. Nightlin, hi. So I just was doing a little scribble right here on my tape to get my pen going. It's ready. Wow, we are getting lots of spammers today. I'm going to go back. Oh, so you, you understand that one, Sean. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to ink some of the hair that's kind of to the side. It's not as um, <clears throat> vital to the character. You know, of course I care about her hair. I'm not trying to say that her hair is not important. I really put a lot of love and attention into her hair this time. Uh, big shout out to my mods, thank you so much. Yes, Mr. E, thank you, thank you so much mods for taking care of those, you guys are awesome. I love you. Okay, so I'm not saying that her hair isn't important. Of course her hair is important, but it's not going to change the overall look of the cover if my hand is a little less than, um, perfectly warmed up right now. A strand of hair slightly off is not the same as an eye off <laughs> or her nose getting messed up. <laughs> so right now I'm using a Copic Multiliner in the 0 0.05 size. Um, and so it's pretty thin and it, it helps me do these thinner lines for, um, for her hair. I did have a giant cup of coffee this afternoon. I do feel that it is causing a little bit of shakiness into my hand, which is not great but we'll work on controlling that. Artistic Scorpio, hello and welcome to the stream. Carmen, hi, thank you love.
Hello, Chrissy. Yes. <laughs> there were some spammers. But the mods got them real quick. Thank you, mods. That's very kind of you, Sean. I'm sure that they they look great. Russell Allen, hello, welcome. David Frank, ah, oh, thank you. <clears throat> ah, Philip, don't listen to Mubot and its lies. Also going to use 0 0.03. Hello in Costa Rica, Rodolfo. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yay, Baron. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting the fine art print. All right, so I've switched to 0 0.03 on her hair. I feel like I'm going to get a better line transition from thick to thin with this one, hopefully. also feel like because this this curl back here is in the background the lines should be a little bit thinner to this stream it's been a while how are you doing <clears throat> see you later sean i'm glad you're going to bed yes it must be very late in the uk thank you for showing up for a few minutes though technique years of just doing or somewhere secret no not somewhere secret um <clears throat> i got a couple hair tutorials from ebass from eric basaldua and then also a couple um words of wisdom from j scott campbell so i would have to give them um a lot of credit for getting me started and starting to know kind of how to think of hair and then you know from there I've really tried to study as well. Oh thank you Anai. <laughs> that would be so awesome.
these are a lot of black lines and as you guys know or you may know lady death's hair is white white so i um once these are once i go into the coloring i will um i will be color holding the lines so i usually make the lines for lady death's hair and like the outlines for her skin and all of that um, a gray and whether it's a bluish gray or a whatever undertone in the gray I decide that depending on whatever the ambient colors are ambient light all of that um, so I'll be changing the lines to a lighter color once I'm in the coloring phase I'm upset there's no Dawn in the current Kickstarter. Aw. <laughs> Good evening, Matthew. Wonderful to see you too. Now I'm just going in and putting little bits of line weight here and there to try and uh, give it that depth. So I used to do brush inking where I would actually use an inking brush. Um, typically like a Winsor & Newton Series 7. Um, but I've kind of stopped doing that. I, uh, I feel like I have even though I've, I did, did put in a fair few years with the brush inking, I kind of prefer the look of pen inking, so I kind of gave up on the brush inking there. Um, but in some of these cases, the, the line weight would certainly be easier if it was brush lines. Jason, hello, welcome to the stream. Hughes. Hello, Mo's Little. Thank you so much for joining. Sal, welcome. <clears throat> oh, those are great questions, Anai. Um, for music, I am, I kind of bump around I would say I don't necessarily consider myself a very um I don't know I'm not a real uh music connoisseur let's put it that way um so I listen to all kinds of different things today though I was finishing WandaVision and starting Loki um I also watch um anime shows on Funimation 
And then as far as what music I listened to um, while I was drawing, this one I've been listening to Palais Royale and a little bit of In This Moment. <laughs> Hello, Kelvin. Paul, hi. So now you guys are going to really see how long Lady Death's hair takes to ink. It is a whole thing. You love Funimation, yay! I agree, B. It's such good workout music. <laughs> it sure was, Paul. Christy Misty, hello! I have heard you say hello to me. She asked if it was me. She said hi too. <laughs> I can't see you. All I can do is see your chats. I was trying to add a commission on my wish list, but that's not allowed. <laughs> you should try one called How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift? It's super funny. Okay. so much for setting up your wish lists and everything that is so cool and just so everybody knows for anyone who missed my and JP Roth's live stream the other day uh, it was Friday um, the Lady Death no, Lady Death, the Divinica website is now live however wait all we are telling you guys about right now is not so that you go shop on the Divinica shop yet so it's DivinicaShop.com and if you go there you can set yourself up an account and you can um, sign up to the email list because on Wednesday when the site officially goes live so that's this Wednesday we will be sending out an email and sending out coupons Thank you, Mr. E. I set up a command as well on, um, on Twitch so that you can just do Xclam Divinica and it should work. So I did, I did that. Yay, it works. <laughs> okay, and I'll uh, send it to Facebook. I just need to open up Facebook. Hold, please. And I'll put the link in Facebook as well, vinicashop.com, so you can set up your account, set up your wish list, and make sure you're signed up to the email list so that you get the coupons. 
JP Roth is like the queen of coupons. So you definitely want to be in the loop for those so that you get awesome deals on the Divinica store. <clears throat> Me and JP look like we could be sisters. <laughs> We've certainly known each other long enough. Oh, yay, Zane. Okay, what was I using? I was using 0 0.05, I think. Yes, so excited that now we have an official Divinica website and on the video that we did on Friday. So if you want to catch that up, it's actually a pretty short video because it was just a quick sneak attack from me and JP Roth. Um, it will be on my Facebook page and on JP Roth's Facebook page so you can watch it in either location. Um, and we explain, we run through the website. JP Roth explains a lot of it about it because she's the one who put the website together. <laughs> she's a winner. And so with that, you'll be able to, um, it explains a little bit more, but you can set up a wish list. You can set up an account. We're gonna try to be very active on the blog section so that you know there's updates and you can comment on there. And we want it to be as interactive as possible and we will um, do our very best to keep up on all of it, etc., etc. I think I got the email list sign up thing done right. Yay! Thank you, True Deadman. Thank you, Anna E. Yes, Mr. E says, almost the same program Amazon has. Make your own wish list of any, everything Divinica. Oh, thank you, Christina. Yay. Well, I posted the link there, Christina, so you can set it up. I actually set my account up live because I hadn't done it yet, Bad Dawn. Um, so you can, uh, you can see where and how to find the sign up and all of those good things. And then the catch, I mean, the main thing you want to remember is set it up before Wednesday so that you get the email with the official website launch coupons and all the hip hip hooray we're going to do, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, you sure do. I should go change that before someone starts fucking with my account. <laughs> You love the Nokomis, yay! Well, the, the really cool thing is that now that we've put everything in one centralized location, there are so many of the original books, like the Nokomis, like Anai said, um, Divinica 1 through 5 will be up on the site. And, you know, a lot of them have been sold out in Diamond for a super long time, so at least you can catch up, too. Aw, thank you, Christina. <laughs> that means a lot. My hair is really, it's been the trial of the century for me in, in my, you know, current century. <laughs> it's the worst. We're getting closer to her face. We're inching in. <laughs> oh, 
you can leave now because you caught me in an F bomb. <laughs> you like the tags? Oh, good! Yay! Oh, I hear you, Kadiro. It has also taken me uh, forever to get this cover drawn. Holy shit. Pizza dog. Did I say your, your name correctly? Pizza... I think? <laughs> I wish my hands were that steady. Looks awesome. Aw, thank you. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Thank you again so much for the Christmas and birthday gifts. I live with the trays that I got. They are awesome. You've missed a few of the live streams where I keep trying to catch you and tell you, so thank you so much for those. I have almost half, I bought a giant stack of watercolor and paint trays, that, and I love them. They are so helpful. Can we add art lessons from you, Ebass, or JSC to the Divinica wish list? Unfortunately not. You can get art lessons from me here if you ask me a question I have an answer to, but I can't be selling Ebass and Campbell's time. <laughs> and usually I happen to catch them when they have a minute at a show, and if I ask the right question at the right time, I get a super great answer. <clears throat> So it's not like I just have access to them either. <laughs> I would not be surprised if JP puts Ebass on the site but marks him as sold out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Christina. <clears throat> Matthias, hello and welcome. <clears throat> Oh, I knew what you meant, Christina. It's all good. I have a fan here, and I'm putting my hand up to the fan because it's hot. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice again. Yeah, uh, for this one, yes, I'm coloring it digitally. Absolutely. cooling off my hand <laughs> the, the 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 ugly underbelly of a hot day it's your biggest fan <laughs> so yes as soon as i'm done with the inks of the main version i will send this off for flats and then i will get going on coloring And um, I have the plan for her um, alternate. Let me see, let me get. So what I did is I printed out all the different versions. So this is the version. Um, so this was my pencil sketch. And what I did, right, we're safe? Yes, we're safe, okay. So this is the plan for her dress. As you can see, it is a scribble. So I print my piece, my papers <laughs> on two pieces of paper and I splice them together. I have my whole little setup for my cheap ass little printer. Um, so this is what I do. And so I just, when I'm done with inking the main version, I'm going to set this one up and draw and ink the dress version. So this is actually the main version is going to be the dress. Um, it's going to be super jewel encrusted. I haven't decided what color I'm going to do the jewels yet, but I will decide that once I start putting everything together. So this is her dress plan. 
Uh, and this is actually the main cover. And this is the naughty patch. I just have not drawn in the naughty bits so that I can live stream it with you guys. But that's the plan for her dress. Hello, Joseph Fox. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Snowbiz. Okay, let me try um, for this closer up portion, I'm going to see how the, the extra small does because there are a few lines that could handle being a little bit thicker. Oh my god, I just love the nibs of the pit pens more than the Copic ones, I'm not going to lie. They're just a little bit softer, so they get fucked up faster. Like, they, do, they really don't last as long as the Copic ones do, but they do a smoother line, much smoother line. Oh, you are what the fan art? Yay! You like the dress de design? Yay! Hey, hey, that makes me so happy. It's one of those weird things, you know, when I'm trying to design a gown, and I sometimes, like... I don't know, sometimes the gown overpowers the body and I didn't really want to do that this time for Lady Death. I, I kind of want her body to take front and center as opposed to like you getting slapped across the face with a gown. So I'm going to kind of make it a little bit more sheer with jewels all over it. That's sort of my plan. <sighs> I didn't even draw a butt here. So who called? Oh, thank you, Juan. I have a um, I have a wait list for Lady Death covers, so I'll probably just go through the wait list and see who's next, and that's generally how it works. Because some of the other people on the wait list have actually not gotten a Lady Death cover before, so I've never kind of worked with them before. So I'll have to see if they're still interested or what Yeah, my hand is still not perfectly warmed up, or we are dealing with coffee. You have a wait list for everything. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, it's for keeping the paper clean. I don't have wrist problems, thankfully. I get shoulder and neck pain, like from here to here is where my art problems really happen. Um, but no, this is just for the paper. How many Lady Death covers have I done? I have no idea, honestly. So I'm going around and doing the thicker lines here. Oh my god, are you talking about the sweet paprika one, Jason? That was so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Even the family's on a wait list to eat because she hasn't finished her streaming. What? <laughs> oh yes, Baron says ask Carmen. <laughs> it was brilliant. The little mini halo, oh my god. 
I would buy that as as a variant cover absolutely I hope that that Mirka turns it into a cover that would be the best Dr. Dark hello welcome to the stream all right I have found myself bored with hair we're moving on we're gonna do something different now Publishers have I worked for? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dark. I have worked for, as far as publishers, I have worked for uh, Coffin Comics, Lady Death, no, Co Lady Death is Coffin Comics, Image Comics, um, Dynamite Comics, DC, Rothic, uh, Lainey Mechanica, Zenoscope, Aspen Comics. Am I forgetting anyone? A fair few. <laughs> yep, Zenoscope I got. Let's put it this way. I've pretty much worked for almost all of them except for Boom Studios, IDW, and Marvel, I think. And Spawn. I have not worked for McFarlane, but I have worked on other image titles. <laughs> Coffin and Rothic are all that matter. <laughs> no, there have not been any recent sightings of Waffle Man. I did one cover for Dark Horse, Chrissy. It was a Dark Horse Dynamite combo because it was Conan and Red Sonya. I have seen Todd McFarlane from a distance. Uh, he was talking to some people at the t table next to me at a con and that's as far as it got. I'm very shy. I won't uh, generally walk up and say hi to somebody. I'm, I have a hard time doing that. <laughs> a little scary. Thank you, Mr. E. Oh, that's cool, Chrissy. I have not actually collaborated with Shannon Mayer. Does he do collaborations? Facebook and everyone on Twitch too. Brandy Sparkles is on the Facebook live stream. She is the manager of the Coffin Comics warehouse and shipping and everything. Right, Brandy? Am I kind of saying your job description correctly? Brandy is amazing. Love you, Brandy. <laughs> Hearts, love. People on Twitch are saying hi to you, Brandy. <laughs> oh, question. What is a good 11 by 17 print stock? I know glossy is what most prints come on, but I have no idea what good paper. It's really a personal choice. 
<laughs> Brandy says you are correct. I'm blushing all hearts and love. So many people on Twitch are saying hi Brandy, hi Sparkles, hi Brandy. She says hi to everyone. <laughs> I am so grateful to Coffin Comics for allowing me to live stream the process. It's very cool because, you know, there is a Non-disclosure agreements are a big deal between an artist and a publisher. They're huge. They're kind of the, the, the sacred rule that you do not break. So the fact that they are releasing me from said sacred rule to live stream the process is mad cool of them. Brandy might know some of us for better or worse. True, true. <laughs> The power of the brandy compels Don streaming to content. <laughs> brandy says, I know and I love you all. <laughs> All right, big question. I personally like the 90s comics where the busts were huge. What do you prefer to draw in women of comics as? You know what? I um I kind of like to draw your average like just fit in shape person. Let's put it that way. So much love to you, Brandy. Thank you for taking some of your time on Sunday to say hi to all of us. It's way cool of you. Sorry, guys. I guess it is a little bit of a bummer if I'm inking way down there and then we can't see her face. So I'm moving back up here. <laughs> yes, I, I prefer the athletic look. Now, please bear in mind, that is just my personal opinion what I like to draw as an artist and kind of what I aspire to be as a human. So it's all kind of mixed in with that general aesthetic. Um, I'm trying to stay in shape. I'm trying to get in shape for various reasons. For starters, I'm getting up in age and I don't necessarily want to fall apart as I get older. And so I'm trying to do, you know, weightlifting so that I don't keep having back and shoulder pain from being hunched over a table, you know, all of those things. So um, that's my personal preference. Um, as far as boob size, I have a really hard time drawing boobs. <laughs> you think I'd be better at it, but I still haven't figured them out. <laughs> so, you know, again, the, the varying sizes is mostly just because I literally can't figure it out. I'm really not snow. <laughs> I do lift, but I'm not particularly strong. my resting bitch face that scares people, not my being muscular or not. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mose. No, I have an 18-year-old, 19, 19-year-old son. Holy fucking shit. I have a 19-year-old son, a 16-year-old daughter, and then an 11-year-old son. I am 43, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uniformity is bleh. <laughs> well, I'm for me, the real struggle right now is to get, you know, a little bit of uniformity with each boob. You know, I'm really way off <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I need to be careful though in what parts of my artistic shortcomings I divulge to all of you. Not because I'm ashamed of them, you know, everybody has their artistic journey to take and their growth to make. I know, I'm such a poet. Um, but what I don't want to do, and this is the delicate balance, is, is point out errors and you know, recurring errors in my own work that's going to make it so that once you see it, you can't unsee it. And I don't want to hurt the covers that you buy. <laughs> I don't want to ruin things for you. Have to keep the, the illusion alive, right? Melezio, hello and welcome to the stream. Oh man, no, she would hardcore kick my ass, what the fan art. Kamri, hello, welcome to the stream. What is my approach to laying out the anatomy? I can show you that. Hold, please. They're looking balanced? Well, that's because much effort has been placed into trying to do that. It does not come easily, Jason. <laughs> okay. Hold please, I'm gonna go get my layouts and sketches. So I'm not gonna get tons of art done here, but oh well. Let me, I need to find something with none boobies, so you guys are just gonna have to hold for a second. Hold! All right, I can show this page. <laughs> uh, okay, this is kind of how my layouts and sketches go. So this was when I was coming up with layout ideas for the battle fairy that I did for uh, Marat. Let me see if I can find some other ones. I just have to be careful uh, because I can't show the boobies and I generally do put boobs in my layouts. Ooh, here we go. I can show you this one. This was some of my layouts for the Dorothy cover. So the Wizard of Oz one for Xenoscope. So like this is the layout that I ended up using, but there were a bunch of other ideas. And then I um, sent that. Let me see. This was some layouts for another cover that didn't end up being used, but I can show you guys. These are like some fight scene layouts. Anyway, um, that's kind of how I start setting up the body. It's really rough like that. So it's kind of a mix between stick figure meets, you know, a little bit of body put into it. <laughs> So, anyway. Oh, I can't, Yvonne. I will get banned from Twitch. Here we go. I can show this one. So this was a Hell Witch cover layout sequence. So these were all, this is the one that ended up getting used, and these were the other two submissions that I sent in. So that's my rough sketch layout stuff. It's basically a step above stick figure. <clears throat> so that's how I start my cover layouts and then from there I start adding uh, ah, adding body to it and you know muscle, fat, all that good stuff. Okay, uh, did I miss? <laughs> no, I do not give away my my layouts. That My layouts stay with me because for every cover that I do, I fill a page, more or less, with layouts. An idea may not work for that particular cover. I may not ever even send it into the publisher because I decided it didn't quite work. 
But those are all ideas that I'll save and use for something else later on down the line. So a lot of times I will have all of my prelims, if I'm stuck and I have a cover that I need to do or a comic book interior page or whatever that I need to do, and I'm kind of having a hard time getting my mind going, I'll actually take my that folder that I showed you guys and just flip through the pages and see if anything can kind of jumpstart my brain. If the batteries up here are a little bit dead, it happens. <laughs> oh, it's busting through the window. Very cool to see the perspective lines in the windows. Yay! Uh, Mo's Little Purgatory from Chaos Comics is now with Dynamite Comics. Thank you, Fox. Okay, I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. Oh, thank you. Raijin. Is that how I say your name? Raijin? Okay, everyone has to, huh? Thank you, Matias. <laughs> No, I'm not wearing a dress. I'm wearing like a jumper. <laughs> Rai Jean. Rai Jin. Cover prep is a lot by. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I do not have a Discord. Am I supposed to make the. the I know Devin made a Discord. I'm supposed to make a command, aren't I? Welcome back, Stanley. All right. <clears throat> need to make the command. Okay. Well, uh, Raijin, I have um, a group on Facebook for people to post their art. So you're more than welcome to join over there until we get uh, Discord going, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Philip. Steve, hello. See you later, Snow. It was such a treat to have you here for a while. Have a fantastic week. Do I have any pets? Yes, I have a British short hair cat. Um, there, at some point, we may see it on the slideshow. It says Hypno Kitty. That would be Sherlock, my cat. Were they smaller 
at the beginning, Matthew? I don't recall changing the size. Have you ever thought of making Lady Death's eyes really shiny? Um, I do use glitter sometimes, Yvonne, on the, when I'm doing a um, commission for Lady Death. Though I actually haven't put any kind of silver glitter or anything in her eyes. Um, it's an interesting idea. I've been off cam this whole time. <laughs> uh, see you later, True Deadman. Much love to you. Have a very wonderful week. Um, okay. The fattest cat in the world. <laughs> and by cat, Don means baby elephant. <laughs> he is a diva. Keiko is adorable in Japanese. Oh, that's awesome, Raijin. I'm making the the edges of her top kind of like uneven bumpy lines and the reason why is because I'm gonna make you know that whole strip is gonna have a bejeweled look to it so if I if I make the lines like not very straight it should help me um, create that illusion of jewels and bumpiness without actually having to draw each jewel in because that I feel can make an area like this on her shirt look really heavy if I try to like meticulously draw every diamond I can imply it and then of course in the color I can add the bling Don, need to take out the pearls command. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Thank you, Mr. E. Remove pearls command. Good. I have made a note. All right, um, I'm going to open up Twitch so that I have that going and I should have both of them actually on and running. How is the stream doing today? Are we doing okay as far as quality and all of that good stuff? Oh, Pinkie Pie, Solid Piece, Talisman, Snow, Dual Boy Jack, Raijin, Pizza Dog. Wow, thank you all so much for the follows. Four Gathers, BK Dandelion. Wow, you guys, I really appreciate all the follows. Thank you so much for joining. I am three people away from 5,000 followers on Twitch. Yay! Wow, I'm still listed as unstable. <clears throat> Good night, Fox. Thank you so much for joining. Seem to remember breasts that increase. That's very cool, Raij. No, Raijin. Raijin. 
your least favorite characters to draw? I honestly don't know. I mean, if buildings were a character, it would absolutely be that. <laughs> Dawn listed as unstable, but what about her internet connection? <laughs> Good bud. <laughs> Did get better Wi-Fi. We just got like fiber Wi-Fi or something. Anyway, it's supposed to be super good. Now I'm going to be less inclined to think it's a me problem and more inclined to think it's a Twitch problem. Oh my god, way too thick a pen. Scary. Hello, Skyzer! Welcome! Yes, that would be it, I think. Very cool, right, Jean? I can't wait. Daka Muslin. Thank you. This is very cool. I am so excited to see what it's like. All right, I'm going to go look now. Or Dhaka muslin. Fascinating. I'm going to read about this. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I love it, Raijin. Thank you. Um, what are your favorite art mediums? I kind of like to dabble in all the things, Skyzer. I work in oil, in some acrylic, watercolor. I'm sort of all over the map. I should probably at some point make up my mind and start to specialize. I haven't really gotten there yet. Ooh, nice, Devin. Yay! Known as Twitch Poll because who oh, is just following? That is so awesome, Devin! <laughs> I love it! What is my thoughts on digital art? <clears throat> I also work in digital. Uh, I have no bad thoughts towards it. I personally feel a little bit more comfortable working on paper, but that is comfort zone and what I know. Um, I think that digital art is extremely handy. Um, there is so much you can do with it, and I do believe that it is possible to go a little faster with digital art. So, um, and there's, you know, it's cheaper, for sure. You don't have to have every tool under the sun in order to accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. So, there is, in my life, and in my artwork, there is definitely a time and a place for digital art. <laughs> You can undo 
That is glorious. It's amazing, Devin. I freaking love it. I need to now figure out how I can follow people. I want to follow everybody on, um, on the site. a warning may not be any actual art being done today hey <laughs> getting stationed on a ship for three years with no internet is not going to be fun oh my god skyzer that is intense fine liners colored pencils watercolor pencils watercolor paint Yes, I do stream often. I stream three times a week. I live in Calgary, Canada, so I am in Mountain Standard Time. Right now it's 6.33 p.m. for me. Um, and I live stream for, from about 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. my time. I'm always about 10 or 15 minutes late though, so you can count on that. <laughs> If you find an art streamer who is focused, send help, they're in trouble. Hello, welcome to the stream. in North Dakota. I'm central, but that's close enough. <laughs> I haven't seen any of your chats, Arnav. I'm so sorry. I have definitely not been trying to ignore you. Please type it again if I missed your question. Uh, Eliera, um, right now I am using a Faber-Castell pit pen. I also use Copic multi-liner pen. So I kind of go between them depending on um, what size I need at the time. So in your works, do you still use graphite? Yes, right now I am inking over graphite. Is my favorite character to follow? Um, I would say that's the character that I work on with JP Roth called Divinica. I 
I have not Rygene. I haven't been to the Wolverine Memorial statue. No, I didn't even know it existed, honestly. Is it here in Calgary? you guys can excuse me I need to go cut my fingernail if it has any length to it at all I cannot ink properly it's in my way so let me get my be right back post it where's my be right back post it god damn it all right we're gonna do a quick be right back I'm literally gonna be gone for all of about one one minute or less B R B. I, uh, I can't stand it when my fingernail is in my way. <laughs> Waylon, hello! Okay, I will literally be right back. I just need to go. I, I know I can't stand chewing my fingernails. That is not something I do. <laughs> BRB! I'm back with no fingernail. <laughs> you need to get on my BRB sign level. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't mean to sound nasty about biting fingernails. I know that many people do that. It's the, the little nicks in my fingernail drive me crazy. I do not have pretty fingernails. Please don't judge me. That is one thing I do not have time for. <laughs> or maybe it's more like that I don't have patience for it. Every so often I'll get in these moods of like, ooh, I need pretty fingernails, and then it just it lasts all of five minutes. <laughs> Very true, Skyzer. I'm gonna switch to a thinner pen for a few minutes. You know the suffering.
welcome to the stream. Okay, so I looked it up. I guess it wasn't put up, and it's supposed to go to Edmonton. There's a crowdfund they started, but who knows? I thought it would have been a cool place to visit. Absolutely it would. got in trouble for picking on you, got put in time out at home. What? Oh no! <laughs> I sure, oh, I'm sorry. Leslie, I'm so sorry. I did not mean for you to get in trouble. You are totally allowed to pick on me. Michelle, it was done in love <laughs> or in friendliness. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Hello, Timothy Brown. Welcome to the stream. Today I am working on a Lady Death cover. I am inking over my pencils right now. Um, and it is going to be an exclusive for Sworn Fest in 2022. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Nobody puts Leslie in the corner, says Steve, and Leslie says my wife does. <laughs> uh, you guys are so awesome. I didn't do the corner sending. <sighs> okay, uh, may I ask who is Lady Death? Lady Death is a character by Coffin Comics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the info. Lady Death there we go. 
all rock and roll themed. Here we go. Let's get this. Oh. Mr. E beat me to it. Do you think Thanos ever takes a look at Lady Death centerfolds? <laughs> Very awesome, Timothy Brown. You draw Lady Death enough, it might be a good idea to have the link in a command. I agree. <laughs> Thanos probably got a stack of Lady Death mags in his bathroom. Thanos would not make it to first base with Lady Death. Yeah, <laughs> I think that sounds about right. I really don't have a good, like, elevator speech, you know, the, like, 15 second lady death is x she's like she's the the queen of hell she is a warrior she is super sexy she goes through various iterations of herself anybody else have some good short one-liners of what lady death is chris brooks hello She has multiple forms. <laughs> I am not Mr. E. So cool, Yuki. Lady Death is the ultimate babe. <laughs> 10 seconds to spare. <laughs> She is smoking hot, necrotic existence. Lady Death is a really fantastic series of comic book covers by Dawn. That's all I need to know. Aw, Chrissy, that's so sweet. That's so cool, Timothy Brown. Check out the Lady Death movie on YouTube. It's true, Coffin Comics has a really good YouTube channel, too. Getting those short, like, 10 to 15 second um, one-liner kind of things to put a series into one line is really, really hard to do. So it's taken me, like, five years to figure out how to, like, start my, you know, Divinica live streams and be like, Divinica is X, you know? And those are some of the hardest ones to do. So I really should check with Coffin Comics and be like, okay, what do you guys say in your short one-liner? How do you take 27 years or however long it is of the series and put it down into me and like that? Hell is a bitch, but death is a lady. I love that. You like a lot of the cute comics, like the Disney ones. Cool. 
Lady Death is the pinup who actually has a good comic to go with her covers. <laughs> Very cool. Hello, Edgar Torres. Or have you were you already here and I've said hello to you twice now? I'm sorry. I have never drawn chastity. A lot of people are hot. It's the internet that's not, not a high standard. Sylvanus Windrunner before Sylvanus existed. Nice. Saint Siren, no, I have never drawn chastity. <laughs> That's funny what the fan art, but uh, my time spent on Lady Death pales com in comparison to uh, the creators, for sure. Torres. <clears throat> what do I use to color my art? I, uh, for this one, I'm going to color it digitally. So I'll live stream that next week. Um, but then for, it depends on the project. I have done everything from watercolor to oil paint, colored pencil, Copic markers. I have never drawn chastity. <laughs> um, no, probably not what the fan art. I will uh, send it to one of my other flatters. to ask, do you draw characters in hopes that one day you might draw them in the future? Um, not right now, no. Well, that's awesome, Yuki. And it's, b believe me, um, I'm still learning with a lot of these things. So I just kind of have this incessant need, I suppose, is the best way for me to put that, <laughs> to try all the mediums. I would not necessarily say it's the best idea. I'm still on the fence about that, but I can't help myself. Maybe it's also that I just love going to the art store and buying shit, and then I have to, um, what is it, justify the purchase? <laughs> I, I also wonder about that side of myself, that they, that may be true. I'm trying to be a little bit more self-aware. <laughs> Who knows?
Do I have any advice of how to learn my illustration style for Lady Death? Um, I guess just try drawing this way. <laughs> I will validate you. You're more than worthy of any supply art supplies you want. Aw, thank you, Skyzer. <laughs> I try to put them to good use. Whether I feel worthy of them or not, I honestly don't, not sure. <laughs> oh, guys, fantastic news from the, um, from the printers. Fingers crossed, of course, but apparently some, by sometime next week we should be getting some production photos of like the real shit from the Kickstarter. So, I am really excited about that. I, I can't wait and as soon as we get some of the production images, I will post them as a Kickstarter update, of course. Lady Death oil painting on a large scale canvas. You know, honestly, I would like to get better at oil painting. I literally just started like a month and a month ago, would it be more or less? Um, you guys are welcome to fact check me on what date exactly I started, but I feel like it was a month or maybe two ago um, that I started dabbling in oil paint. But once I get good, yes, I would like to maybe put in a bid with Brian of like, would you let me try painting Lady Death for funsies? <laughs> month and a half ago. Okay, so between a month or two months is about right. Happiness, thank you. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put in another little reminder. Since Philip did the Divinica command, thank you, Philip. Don't forget to sign up to the Divinica email list so that you get all the coupons that are coming to you. It does sound like a Devon question. <laughs> Ooh, I have a few more followers to thank. One moment, please. I'm just going to scooch this over a little bit. Non dormient. Jennifer Gour, Landon the villain, Skyzer, thank you guys so much for the follows. Wonderbutt, Evil Ernie, okay, yes. Um, I honestly just have not been assigned to draw Evil Ernie. I don't know that I would be particularly good at it. Not that it would be too scary for me. I don't I don't think that he's too scary for me. Um, more girly drawings are definitely what I'm better at, so I think that's probably why Brian hasn't assigned me to draw Evil Ernie. Mark, hello, how's it going? Devin will tell you, it's up on his spreadsheet. Seriously, you have that written down, Devin? Oh my god, you're the best. I do not deserve you. Um, Skyzer, I don't use Winsor & Newton anymore. I did have a Winsor & Newton, 
Actually, I think I still have it somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. I had a little tiny Winsor & Newton palette that I used to start with years ago. Is it here? Nah, I don't know where it is. Um, but then I switched to Schmincke. Um, I need to turn up my light a little bit more. There we go. I switched to Schmincke um, watercolors because they are a little bit more light fast in my opinion and I switched away from Winsor and Newton not because I didn't think that they were good but because my art store that I live near here has the Schmincke refillable pans but not the Winsor and Newton one. So I made the decision purely on if I run out of a color and I need it yesterday, I can go get it as opposed to ordering it in from the US or whatever and I have to wait two weeks and you know, I'd be up shit creek. So I use, then I also use professional grade colors just because the original art is uh, kind of my bread and butter and as such I want to make sure that the the piece will last as long as possible yeah availability was the deciding factor for me I use Schmincke watercolors, yes. And then I have a couple colors, like a couple um, tubes that are Daniel Smith um, and Holbein, but primarily, yes, I use Schmincke unless they're like sold out of a color and I have to go to a different brand. That's a bad question, right, Jean? Did you ask me a question? Uh, who's the most attractive? I think between Mystique or Emma Frost with the ability to look into your mind and figure out what gets you going and project that into your mind might be the best. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I, uh, I never really thought about it. I'd say personally, me, my opinion, not saying anyone has to agree with me, my preference between the two characters is definitely Mystique. How do I like Schmincke watercolors? I love them. You use Mission Gold and Shinhan. Oh, nice. I don't know that I know of Mission Gold. And Devin, we had a conversation, I don't know if you remember, a, a little while ago, we had one about uh, watercolor being archival. You're right, it's not archival. I chose Schmincke and the professional grade paints because it's light fast. So like Copic marker is not archival, but it's also not light fast. Whereas watercolor is not archival because you're right, if you spill water on watercolor, it's gonna bleed and smudge and all of that stuff. But I chose it, uh, I chose colors that are light fast. So at least they're not gonna fade so quickly. I 
I do like Mystique. I didn't see that, I don't think, what the fan art. Mission Gold Watercolors is a Korean brand. They're made with honey. Interesting. Stormy, hello. Welcome to the stream. You remember the convo. Okay, yay. So, yeah, that you are right. And then... I wasn't really remembering why I made that choice, and it was not archival, it was Lightfast. That was the thing. over in the cemetery with the pumpkins ah thank you Chrissy eventually so I always wait quite a while until afterwards so um, I think it's like I wait at least six months until after the Kickstarter and the you know all of us artists have received our respective comps and then I will have it so yes I will in a couple months we have it planned And my own character. Very cool, D. Cruz. So if you're on my email list, you will be notified. Usually my Lady Death pieces that I have my allotment that, I ha that I'm given from Coffin Comics, and my allotment I get send out to my email list before I let anyone else know that it's available. So you need to be on my email list because it's usually sold out in that one day. It's available for like the first half of the day and then it starts to sell out. So um, be warned, if you are looking for that piece in particular, be on my email list. And I'll give everybody a heads up and be like, Saturday at 9 a.m., an email's coming you don't want to miss. It's a limited quantity, all of that stuff. Thank you, Philip. That is the plan. That's my hope, Devin. The cycle, life cycle of a commission like you do, let's say, the death in the rain, essentially archival because unless major water damage, it should sustain a couple generations at least. Yes, that is my fingers crossed hope that you know it doesn't get you know a bunch of water spilled on it or something like that then yes it should hold its color for a long time thank you yuki it is calling you yuki correct is that is that the plan see you later stanley have a fantastic week It's possible, Chrissy. I need to check with Dan. I, I uh, should probably pay attention better. Most people call you Yuki. Okay. Philip really is on game. Honorary mod for Philip. Philip, thank you so much for always posting those. Tonight is hamburger night. Whoop, whoop. We have 
have some watercolors my grandmother did in the early 70s that look the same now as when she painted them. That's awesome. Well, you're such a sweetheart, Philip. I'm very grateful for you and for all the mods and all of you that are here. Thank you so much for hanging with me. So the reason why I'm doing little breaks in the lines is because that's where the crease is. It's kind of ruched towards the center stone right here, so I, I will put the crease lines in her cloth shortly. What sort of hamburger? <laughs> We're pretty simple. Uh, we get the hamburgers from Costco, we get the hamburger buns from Superstore, and then everybody, Dan makes them like cheeseburgers, uh, he melts cheese on top of them, and then everybody does their own um, toppings because we have, we have a very particular family. We are all extremely particular. Every single last one of us, I can't really just say Dan and the kids are fussy, I'm super fussy. <laughs> <gasps> Talked about when experts are repairing oil paints and need to add missing paint, they use acrylic paint. Really? That's crazy because, like, I've read, Zane, that, like, the cardinal rule of oil painting is you can do acrylic as an underpaint and then oil on top, but you can never paint acrylic on top of oil. But maybe that's just when you're working on it. Like for older paintings, maybe that doesn't apply because technically oil paint takes about six months to dry. It can be dry to the touch, but it's not completely dry until six months, more or less. So maybe that's like, you know, once it's a couple hundred years old, obviously it's dry. So maybe that's why it works. No, we don't do veggie burgers. We just, we get them from Costco. <laughs> wow, time is flying today. I think on oil, older paintings it's okay because it's completely cured by then. Yes, that makes total sense. I really should have thought of that. The acrylic repairs for oil paintings that have been damaged, definitely not new ones. You have a very good point. Michelle, hello, hello, how are you? Six months, I'll stay with watercolors. Well, yes, Yuki, um, that is, I'd say, you know, that's what I've read. I'm working on an oil painting right now, which I can show you, but I'm gonna have to cover the boobies. I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay. So I'm working on this oil painting right now. It's completely dry to the touch. So, you know, I think that when they say that kind of thing, I think that applies. Ooh, I have my little stickies, wait. I can just put my little stickies on. Hooray for saving booby stickies. All right, so I think that that applies when you're doing like really thick globs of paint. Um, I think if you're just kind of doing a regular painting, it dries in about three days, more or less. <laughs> Leslie has to behave now. Michelle is here. <laughs> the thicker the paint, the longer it takes to dry. That's correct. So, um, I'm still not done painting her skin. I believe that it needs a little bit more shine to it. And, you know, right here I need to fix. So anyway, this is not complete. I'll fix this probably on stream with you guys uh, once I'm done with my Lady Death uh, cover. But yeah, this is dry enough. It's dry to the touch. Um, I'm not painting thick um, stuff. The nice thing, because I have had a chance now that I've kind of dabbled in both worlds of the watercolor and the oil paint, is that with watercolor, you have to be so careful because you can't really fix anything, you know? 
Oil painting takes a lot of the stress out of it because you can just keep fixing forever. You could declare a painting never finished and just keep tweaking it, um, which takes a lot of the stress out. But watercolor is definitely faster, 100%. I'd still give a month with thinly layered paint just to be safe. I agree, Chrissy. Three days, still going with watercolor. Yeah, Yuki's just like, fuck that shit. <laughs> All right, putting my painting back. I need to show you guys my fun drying racks that Dan helped make for me. Veggie burgers are heresy. <laughs> You now have questions about how I draw nipples? <laughs> you know what? Not easily, Jin. I have a really hard time with it. I find watercolor to be the most challenging of all painting options. That's also one of the reasons why I like it most. Yeah, I, um, I need to get better and I need to get better at watercolor painting for sure. I have messed up so much with watercolors. I have learned so many ways to fix it. Well, that is so cool. I have not learned so many ways to fix it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I promise, Steve. I'm pretty good. I know that I'm a terrible noodler, but I do know when to call it for the most part. <laughs> oh, thank you, Devin. That means so much. I was really hoping to be done with it by last week. You know, so I could ha have a finished painting under my, um, under my belt before going on to the Lady Death piece. But, you know, I, I, I couldn't make it. I failed. it when everyone tells you to stop noodling? Yes. <laughs> Dawn knows when to call noodling. Yeah, when it's a spaghetti night. Hey! <laughs> For when it comes to art, it can be either perfect or it can be done. It can never be both. That is so wise, Chrissy. Oh my God, I love it that Michelle and Leslie are having a conversation. <laughs> I'm assuming you're in the same room or same house <laughs> and deciding on brownies here. I love it. Just waiting on you, Michelle.
Michelle. Thank you for coming in to say hi. I hope you girls have a wonderful evening, a fantastic week, and have fun baking brownies. That sounds delicious. Chrissy says, to be fair, that thought was taken from a professor who I heard made the comment about dissertations. They can be perfect or they can be done. It does fit for art. I love it, Chrissy. Sometimes we're in different rooms when I get in trouble. <laughs> oh, lol. Love it, Michelle. Bradley, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh my god, I just remembered somebody asked how I started working for Coffin Comics like an hour and a half ago. I can't remember who it was. Um, if you ask that question, are you still here by any chance? My goodness. I'm kind of the worst streamer, aren't I? So much luck wish to you, Matthew. I hope your interview goes fantastically. Have a wonderful week. If I, when I'm in a different room, it's because I'm hiding. <laughs> okay, Chrissy asked that. All right, I am so sorry. It's like, you know, <laughs> the delay. I think it was only 20 or 30 minutes ago. Oh, okay, well, that's not as bad as two hours because, you know, boy. Um, I think it was just meeting up at conventions. Um, I saw Brian at a few different conventions, um, got to chatting with him. I think that a few people, which was very sweet of a few coffin collectors, like coffin comics collectors and lady death collectors had me work on a couple blanks as commissions at a show. And then, you know, from there, I met Brian a couple times at conventions and then uh, started doing covers. Uh, Brian said that I did one commission one time and that was the one that got me my job. Um, I'm not sure which one it was and all that. Um, but yeah, I would say mostly conventions. It's really, um, it's really one of those things that helps a starting artist very much is being able to meet publishers at conventions. I got my job for DC by meeting Jimmy and Amanda, like Jimmy Palmioti and Amanda Connor at a convention in Denver. Um, huge shout out to Campbell for the introduction and, um, you know, working for Coffin Comics was meeting Brian at conventions. It's very much conventions made a huge difference in my artistic life that's for sure david balance um no I, uh, troy hudson um was the main one he was the first person i believe that i drew a lady death commission for um, I was at conventions already. I started in comics with J.P. Roth. We started together on all the Rothick series. And then from there, you know, we were already at shows, honestly not even knowing what we were doing, but we were, we were there as exhibitors at the show. 
Right place, right time. That's right. We bombard you with questions and comments for you to sort. A nightmare for anyone with ADHD. <laughs> 93 minutes have passed, so now she can answer. <laughs> or sometimes it's even meeting someone at a dinner. You know, you get invited. That's where a lot of artists do hang out, artists, writers, publishers, all of that stuff, you know? We don't necessarily have time to leave our tables at the convention, for instance. I mean, I'm doing good if I get to run to the bathroom. <laughs> Real talk right now. Um, so, you know, there's not really any time for you to go run and walk around or have a lunch meeting with someone. That, 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 that's not a thing. <laughs> unless you have people actually working your table for you. Um, but even so, everybody's waiting for um, the, the author or the artist to come back and sign their books for them. So you can't really leave. Um, however, after the show, when we all go and have dinner and literally inhale food, <laughs> <laughs> we'll hang out and you know hang out with different people at dinner times and then that's kind of how you get to meet other artists or people working at the convention is after the convention could be a good way to connect but I like being a consumer there and not being stuck at a table <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is a whole thing Shikari hello welcome to the stream Much love to you, Christina. Have a wonderful week. I'd watch your table for you if you ever needed a break. Aw, thank you, Devin. There are so many wonderful people like you, Devin, that offer to watch the table for me. But then, you know, I feel bad for the everybody that's paid to be there and, you know, is looking for me. And, you know, getting from circling back to someone's table for when they hopefully get back from their lunch break or whatever you know sometimes people don't make it back around i mean right now i can only imagine the conventions are not as crowded as they used to be <laughs> at least for the time being but i can only imagine that in general circling back is not very easy so if somebody isn't there it's got to be very annoying for you know, those of you that are, you know, there for me to sign something or whatever. He was behind me in line for food. I was too scared to ask him. I'd already gone fangirl at his table. Aw. Hello, I'm Devin, not Dawn, but I know everything about Dawn. Or wait, here she comes. <laughs> but no, I do, I do definitely take breaks. I mean, when I can. I'm going to the Comic-Con here in Portland. Oh, cool. I can only imagine it'll be fine, Chrissy. I really hope you have a good time. Much luck luck. I'm going to the Calgary Expo. Um, and it's, you know, it's a limited edition one, so it's going to be smaller. Should be all right, hopefully. Oop. I 
want to do a thinner pen for that. So is Tom. I know. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. generally don't ink the lips. Um, I'm weird about it, but that's how it goes. So I'm just going to ink her nose really quickly. And then we'll work on her eyes so that at least I can say I finished most of Lady Death's face for the live stream and her hair. He's being tied to the wing to get there, but he'll be there. <laughs> Hello, Alec Vander. Welcome to the stream. So I did the sketch with you guys a little while ago and I felt like her face lost the attitude that I wanted it to have in my sketch. I'll show it to you guys. Um, I just have to cover the boobies. I felt that her face lost that kind of lady death attitude that I was going for. So I actually redrew it <laughs> and am uh, inking it now. Thank you, Mark. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell Tom to leave. Not at all. I can't wait to see anybody who can make it to the show. I'm so excited to see Tom. It's going to be awesome. Your life has been nothing but redrawing lately. <laughs> I feel that pain. It's so frustrating when you're just like, God damn it, I ruined it again. you like the slightest change you know you you get a line half a millimeter different from your sketch to your final and the look is ruined I, I don't know why it's like that and it's so frustrating when like you make the tiniest little change or you're trying to fix something that's off and you just end up making it worse or losing that kind of cool factor or the it factor from the entire piece. So sometimes, you know, obsessing about having everything right or the anatomy right or worrying too much about things like that can sometimes actually ruin it. It might even be better to be wrong 
than be right because you make it perfectly symmetrical or you get the eyes in the exact same level and then it's ruined. It doesn't, it doesn't have that spice that it had at the beginning. Anyway, that's my frustration for you on this face. I ruined it, so then I had to like go back and redo it. I don't have the pressure of deadline, but I still feel some pressure to show progress. Oh, man, I hear you. The pressure to show progress, I feel it so intensely on Twitch streams. Even I feel it more intensely to Twitch than I do to the publisher because I'm making it fine on my deadline. I just feel like, oh my god, everybody's going to pick at me, pick on me because I'm slow. I'm fine as far as the, the, the industry and the deadlines go. I'm good. But to you guys, I'm more scared of you when it comes to my progress. It's weird. <laughs> I know what you meant, Dr. Dark. <laughs> we so scary. You kind of are a little bit. <laughs> In regards to making the progress and not feeling embarrassed that I might be slow, yeah. Um, because the publisher knows exactly where I'm at. I know exactly when my deadline is, and I'm generally never late. So we're good as far as that goes. <laughs> yeah, it can be a little bit publicly embarrassing. It's like, you know, everybody that's watching my live streams and all the other artists are aware of my schedule, at least if they happen to see my live streams and whatever progress may have been made, I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> we're not that scary. I'm sure that's typical. I think, you know, that's how it is. You worry that people are thinking of you 10 times more often than they actually give a shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel that I'm going to have to start making a 24 page book per, per month. And I worry, right, you mean per month. I'm not going to be able to keep up. That's a tough call. Mad respect. <laughs> I don't think I could do a 24 page book per month. My spelling, it's great. <laughs> okay, so I'm not doing as much of an upper lash line, um, well, upper lashes that are visible because I want it to look like she's, you know, kind of looking up at us a little bit more and I'm gonna really go eyeshadow heavy here when I make her have more lashes it kind of opens up her eyes more and makes her look a little sweeter and I don't really want that this time I think that doing the foofy lashes that I had um, were giving her a more youthful sweet look than I'm going for with Lady Death on this piece Would it be frightening if Brian was watching the streams? Would that be an artist block situation? You know what? I'm sure I would feel nervous if Brian was watching the streams. I mean, 
he's such an awesome publisher and very um, supportive of all of his artists. But yeah, I would be I would be nervous. I'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> oh no. Do a pop up book with boobies. <laughs> That's awesome. does not Jason way to like give me a mini heart attack style over this side. I wondered who Coffin Pub 01 was. What? <laughs> I don't know when the Dual Lady Death Hell Witch cover is releasing, but I want it. Oh, thank you, Dr. Dark. I don't know either. It'll be a surprise to all of us. <laughs> he, he was, yes, Philip. Um, so he got me a bunch of images and I've just been uh, studying those ever since. I think I have like 20 or something like that. They've been very helpful. All right, so I'm trying to give her like a uncut diamond kind of look to her crown. I thought that would be kind of fun. I intentionally made them not even and not symmetrical because the rest of the cover um, is very even and quite intensely symmetrical. <laughs> you know, it's this, each side is pretty much repeated, but I did change the candles and candle wax. So um, yeah that's uh it's kind of a symmetrical cover and then i've thrown it in a few places um so i made her crown not symmetrical Ooh, it's almost dinner time thank you keeman So my redrawing of this cover did kind of set me back a little bit of time. Um, so I'm really hoping that I'll be starting in on the colors for live streaming tomorrow. Not tomorrow, um, for Tuesday's live stream. I'm just really crossing my fingers for that one. I'm going to need to kind of haul ass tomorrow and tonight to, to finish this up. Um, and get all the inks finished and get this off for flats on the ASAP. Oh, thank you, Keeman. Sorrow, beautiful pair of boobies. Let's see this BuzzFeed link. What? Oh my god, I fell for it again. Jason, god damn it. <laughs> the hell? A 
if I spend some time in the blankets of solitude, yes, I'm going to have to. I do not want to see those kind of bo boobies. Seda Art and un uh, You Heartless, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Seriously, Steve? Yay! Thank you. And guys, we hit 5,000 followers on Twitch. We are now at 5,003. Hip hip hooray. I know that none of you care. I care. Because, you know, I am definitely in the trap of social media number counting. I shouldn't be, but I am. It's the worst. <laughs> That's why I didn't click. See, you're very wise, Mr. E. You've got an anniversary coming up, ooh, for your live streaming. Having seen them in the Galapagos though, blue boobies are pretty amazing looking. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to it. <laughs> Thank you, what the fan art. Twitch is kind of a slow grow situation, isn't it? Have any of you guys finished the Loki series yet? I literally just started today, so no spoilers. Just don't go mad counting numbers. No, it's just depressing and annoying. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, it's my three year anniversary. Congratulations, Keeman. Images that are just moves kind of missed the point for me. Aw. I hear you on that one, Dr. Dark. See you later, what the fan art. I hope you have a fantastic week. Take care. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I'll try to go find your mystique drawing. I'm sorry if I missed it. Probably easier to find on my Insta than Boop Squad. Okay. So I'm looking over that link and now I'm wondering in context, is booby breast re redundant? Yes, it is, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, that's funny, uh, Dr. Dark. I don't know, though. I tend to think that each, um, each is beautiful in their own way. <laughs> I wouldn't say anyone's a utilitarian lump of meat, especially not men. Or utilitarian. There we go. <laughs> Facts. Guys, be nice to yourselves.
How's Mr. Sherlock? He's doing well. Um, I might need to take, we have an appointment for him at the vet on Wednesday, so, yeah, poor little guy. Sometimes his eye bothers him, so I might need to take him to the vet. I mean, I called on Friday, and Wednesday was their first available appointment, so... He seems to be doing better, but anyway, I'm keeping an eye on him. He, he, get, he needs his little eye drops, and I ran out of his eye drops. <laughs> Otherwise, he's doing well. Oh, thank you, Hanusol. So appreciated. Whoop, whoop. Soul, were you on our Friday live stream with me and Joe? How old is Sherlock? He is, he was born in 2016. He is, someone help me with math, five? <laughs> it's sort of the thing where, uh, you know, it, the vet explained it to me one time. His eyes are a little bit more sensitive because he has a, such a short little nose um, that they can get a little bit more um, irritated. Sherlock is five, almost six. Thank you. Yes, he's a January baby. Oh boy, Hanusol. Wow, what a big deal. You're getting your oldest ready for college. Damn, <laughs> so amazing. I'm wishing you so much support, courage, everything you need. It's a whole thing getting your kid ready for college. Mad respect. It went so great with me and Joe. Aerospace engineering, holy shit, you must be so proud. <laughs> Smart. Five of born before August. Yes, he was, he's in January. He's still a whippersnapper. Yeah, he's pretty young. Well, anyway, for anybody who missed it, uh, the Divinica shop is launching on Wednesday. So you want to get on the email list for the Divinica store for all things Divinica. Um, because we will be uh, sending out coupons on Wednesday for the official site launch and opening. Thank you so much, Mr. E. He got accepted three days after the applications closed. Wow, that is so awesome. Aerospace engineering, I can't get over it. That's, that's insane. Is he going far from you, Hanusol, or close by? Like, do you have a uh, flight in your future or a very long drive? <laughs> no problem, we've got your back. It's appreciated. gonna be a rocket scientist that is insane <laughs> he'll be close oh okay well that that makes a big difference yay yeah I think you've got dad bragging rights for life now huh Hanusol <laughs> Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'll 
I'll protect all of you, not just your back. Aw, Steve, smooth. <laughs> Sign up for the emails. For those of you looking for it, it's the bottom of the contact page. Thank you, Zane. That is good to know. Okay, everybody, it is two minutes until I need to run for dinner. Huge congratulations to Hanu Soul. I'm so happy that your son got accepted for it right now. He just wants to get through college. We will figure that out as we go, but of course he would love NASA or JPL. Wow. You guys, that is so cool. Steve, you're fancy too. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your support. Uh, just so you guys know, this is a cover for Swornfest 2022. It's an exclusive. Um, I hopefully will be live on Tuesday next week to start on the colors if I have to delay. I will uh, let you know on my Facebook page and in Boop Squad. Trade Donna Ride space for a commission. <laughs> thank you, Hanu Soul. Thank you all, Michelle, Leslie. Thank you to all of my mods who keep the page going. And thank you to everybody who has signed up to the Divinica shop. You guys are awesome. Looking forward to that uh launch hugs i'll see you next time thank you so much for everything i will philip i'm very hungry <laughs> so much hugs and love to all of you i'll see you later